Hello, here is a demo of a um, file that's utilizing Microsoft Excel as well as Visual Basic Programming. Let me get rid of that there. So basically what this file does is it, it does a lot of things but it's fairly interactive. Um, the data has been changed on here um, to make it a demo uh, but what the customer wanted was a basic file that would allow their employees and their salespeople to choose options um, including DVRs and cameras and monitors and things like that for a surveillance vid video surveillance installation. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started and kind of show you what it does and how it works. But basically this would be the file that the, that the uh, sales rep would open up when they were out on site or back at their office and um, they would continue to go through it like this. The first step is to select a DVR and here they have three different options. Um, they can select a DVR. Then they click this click to select cameras button here and they can choose um, cameras based on that DVR and there's about 16 different cameras that they can choose. Um, so if they select a different DVR they have a different um, set of cameras that they can select so that added one there. If they chose this one here, let's do the last one because I think it has the most. Then they have a lot of options here to select their cameras. So now they come down and based on their location they can decide um, which cameras they want to put in what locations and I'm just randomly selecting some here um, just to kind of show how it works. I'll pick one down here. They may fill them all in. They don't have to. They can. I think most of the time they do but I don't want to waste anyone's time by filling in a whole bunch. And then based on their cameras, they can come over here and make some notes. So I'll just call this notes to, they probably make real notes or I think they put a location there. Um, and then they can come down here and they select a monitor. Um, they have a couple of different options for monitors. And as you can see, as they select stuff, it fills in the prices um, for those particular products. And down here, it calculates out different options that the customer has as far as warranties and leases and things like that, but all the numbers auto-calculate. And then what they wanted to be able to do was have the ability to save this as a package um, so they could recall it later if they were gonna do the same thing in a, in a different location uh, for their customer. So we have this uh, little button up here that allows them to go ahead and save that package there that I just created. And ask for a package name, I'll just call this, uh, I think I have a few in there, so I'll call this test package 3 um, and I go ahead and click OK and what that does is it saved that package restarted the um, file and allows them to now go in and re-enter uh, new information for another package that they want to store um, or uh, a common feature that they may want to do is they want to recall that package later. So they may save a few, but um, for now what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that you opened up this file and you had saved a package previously and you're out on site and you come here to choose package and you can select a package here. That one that I just did was test package 3. You click select package and it populates back all the data into this main page here and um, everything that's there, now the numbers are there, and you can save as many packages as you want. Um, if you have data in here and you decide that it's not right for you, as you can see, you got the notes over here and stuff, but if you decide that data is not right for you, you click restart, and you have a new screen to go ahead and start calculating again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and choose that package one more time so that we can show where this uh, data flows through. You select the package and their ultimate goal was to be able to take this information and put it into a form of uh, invoice um, or a sales report for their customer so they can print it out on site and have them sign. So if you can see here all this, I click this tab over here, all this information flows over. These were all the cameras I selected, the notes I put in, the pricing based on that. They have the option here to come and fill out all the customer information they need. Down here it calculates the sales tax rate based on the input that they used on that other page there. And they can print this out as a PDF, have the customer sign it, they can sign it and, and call it a gun, done deal. And uh, that's basically the way this file works. It's a pretty neat little trick using Excel and VBA programming to be able to enable this type of um, file. So 
Thanks for listening. I'm going to restart this here, and I'm going to go ahead and sign out on this one. Thanks.